house at the dump sites had started to overflow. Despite the efforts to find a suitable location for a new landfill, the garbage crisis has not been resolved. An emergency meeting has been called last night to discuss the final plans for dumping our city's garbage. According to the mayor, our best plan so far is to eliminate school playground. I know what you're thinking. It's impossible. And yes, it's true. This is just a make-believe story news. But it could happen. The question is, what can you do today to stop it from happening? Hi there, learners! This is Teacher Love, and let me take you on a journey that will help you understand the real world through science. People have increased their demand and have changed their consumption patterns. The increase in population has led to the increase in waste production. Waste has a huge negative impact in our natural environment. For today's episode, we will help you recognize the importance of five R's, which is reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair in waste management. Last episode, we've learned about the five R's technique. Let's check if you can still remember them. Study the following pictures. Identify what waste management practice is shown. Determine if it is reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, or repair. I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Write the correct answers on your paper. Time's up. Let's check. Picture number one, reduce. Picture number two, reuse. Picture number three, recycle. Picture number four, repair. And picture number five, recover. This garbage dump is what happens to land when we throw things out. It's usually sent to a place like this, called landfill. Landfill, also known as garbage dump or dumping ground, is a site for disposal of waste materials. However, this landfill, when not properly managed, can contaminate our ground waters and eventually leads to water, land, and air pollution. Environmental pollution is one of the most serious global challenges any country is facing. Pollution is dangerous for all living organisms, whether it be humans, plants, and animals. As our planet is experiencing a tough time with global warming, climate change, and plastic pollution, Mankind needs to take responsible action to stop the destruction of Mother Earth. All our contribution is valuable. We need to protect our home. Let's go somewhere less smelly to learn more about the importance of managing our waste. Just like what we learned from our previous episode, one of the best ways to reduce pollution is to practice the 5 R's techniques. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. To practically apply these techniques, let's start somewhere we are all familiar with. Inside our home. As everything starts in our home, waste management can be your first step towards making our planet a greener, 
cleaner and safer place to live. Just like you, kids can help as well. By managing waste at home with your family members, we can all make a big difference. To reduce simply means reducing or lessening the amount of possible waste material. Please stop buying plastic water bottles. Water bottles and plastic cups are huge waste of material. Buy a durable water bottle and a cute coffee thermos so you can take your beverages wherever you want. You will find yourself a lot more hydrated and in addition, you can save more money because you are using refillable materials. Remember, the more you buy water bottles and any plastic materials to store food or beverages, the higher the waste materials you contribute to our planet. To reuse means to use again. Use both sides of paper for printing or use the clean side to make your list. This will help you reduce the solid waste accumulation in your house. Maximizing the use of an object is a good practice to lessen the waste contribution in our environment. To recycle means to use waste materials to make another product. Calling all our plantitos and plantitas out there. Instead of buying new pots for your plants, Use these plastic bottles or empty tin cans as planters for your garden. To recover means taking energy from waste and converting it into a new resource. This will require more time of action, but everything is worthwhile. Today, I will be teaching you how to do basic composting. Composting is a process of decomposing organic waste quickly. Composts are used as a natural fertilizers for plants. Are you ready to learn how to do composting? Let us begin! We need waste materials like the following. Fruit and vegetable peelings, eggshells, dried leaves, a container with soil, spray bottle, and gardening tools. Rinse out the bottle or the container. Then, place a layer of soil at the bottom of the container. Moisten the soil with water from a spray bottle if it is dry. Add a thin layer of fruit scraps. Eggshells. And dried leaves. Then add another layer of dirt. Continue adding layers until the container is almost full. Place it in a sunny location. If the contents look dry, add a spray of water to keep it moist. The compost is ready to use when it is brown and crumbly. This will take a month or so. Easy, right? Try it yourself. To repair means fixing or restoring broken items so that these will be used again. Learn to repair rather than discard. Fixing a hole in your favorite jeans or reattaching a broken button can extend the life of the piece rather than throwing it in the garbage and buying a new one. Which is better for the environment and for your wallet. Money is important. Let us learn how to prioritize things. 
we need to put in consideration our daily contribution of waste materials so that we can help lessen the garbage collected daily. Even small changes can make a difference. Practicing 5 R's techniques every day at home, work, and play is an easy and rewarding practice. By adopting more environmental habits, we can reduce pollution, save resources, and better help our community fight climate change. I prepared some exercises for you to ponder. I will give you three seconds to answer each question. Number one, Renee has started to compost her food scraps, leaves, and yard trimmings. When it all breaks down into soil, she will use it for her garden as natural fertilizer. The answer, check mark. Number two, Serena has grown older, so her mother decided to donate her used clothes to the victims of the typhoon in Bicol. The answer, check mark. Number three. The grade 5 pupils are fond of throwing paper in the trash can. The answer, cross mark. Number 4. Tenten is collecting used empty plastic bottles for a science project. He plans to make a lantern out of these bottles. The answer, check mark. Number five, my older sister kept on throwing away used cooking oil. The answer, cross mark. Great job, kids! Let's try another one. Study the pictures of the common practices observed. Which of the following importance of the five R's is a direct result of a given practice? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Choices are Letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. Letter B. Transform garbage into something useful. Letter C. Make the earth Zero waste or free of any garbage or waste material. Picture number one. The correct answer, letter B. Transform your garbage into something useful. Picture number two. The correct answer, letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. Picture number three. The correct answer, letter C. Make the earth zero waste or free of any garbage or waste material. Number four. The correct answer, letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. And picture number five. The correct answer, letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. Great job, kids! You are a certified 5 Rs Explorers. The waste that we generate per day is more than what our landfill can accommodate. Therefore, we should practice 5 Rs to manage waste and lessen environmental problems. Practicing 5 Rs also helps make our surrounding clean and provides opportunity for people to save and earn money. Managing waste is everyone's responsibility. We live in a beautiful world. It is our own duty to protect, preserve, and conserve our environment. This is the only earth that we got, so we must do our share to protect it. We must reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. Do it now! Once again, this is Teacher Love, and join me again next time for another Science 5 session 
where we always learn more science in a fun and meaningful way. Here on DepEd TV, where learning science makes sense.